Welcome back everyone, wherever you may be watching, your opinions and your thoughts count at this time as we anticipate the President's uh, address tomorrow, 7 a.m. Nigerian time. You can join the conversation tonight, hashtag Buhari returns, hashtag politics today at CTV politics and at Shane Walking. Let's get your thoughts on the program. You might, we might just be taking some of your thoughts on the program. As the president returns, his desk, I can imagine, is full. The Biafra agitation, call for restructuring, quick notice with the Igbos in the north, ASU strike, Boko Haram re in, uh, resurgence, anti-corruption campaign. As a matter of fact, the list is endless. I see how Professor Akin Oyebo, the professor of uh, international law and jurisprudence at the University of Lagos. Let's continue the conversation now. Uh, Prof, as it stands right now, some of these issues on the table, uh, like you mentioned, uh, you, you did say it's, it's a good time for the president to rejig his cabinet. But if you look at a lot of issues, for example, the cor anti-corruption issue that the president said was going to take head on, the Babachil, uh, former uh, SGF and the NIA DG report is there. It was supposed to be, the, that report was supposed to be submitted on Monday. The president left on Friday. Do you think that's supposed to be one of the things that should be handled first? Well, I, I don't know the priorities of uh, President Buhari, but it's a simple matter. Uh, Vice President Oshibajo could not uh, submit his own report to himself. So it, the reports had to await the return of the president. So I'm sure the president will make a short shrift of that report and settle the matter. Uh, it doesn't require much thinking. But I think uh, many people m mistake the point in terms of yearning for him to come back and saying he has fulfilled all legal righteousness. It wasn't a legal matter per se. It was political. And that is why I think one of the heroes of this debacle was Yemi Oshibajo. Yemi Oshibajo went beyond the call of duty. He was virtually on overdrive. And you can see that he has more gray hairs now than uh, before. So he was very loyal, very devoted, and highly committed uh, to the enterprise. And he gave an assurance to Nigerians that the president might not be around, but life was go going on. And so uh, I think uh, kudos should go to Yemi Oshibajo for doing an able job as vice president to uh, President Buhari. Now, in terms of how, whether to rejig his cabinet and reorder his priorities, I think the priorities are still clear from his campaign that he wants to take care of the Boko Haram problem, and then he wants also to fight corruption head on, and also uh, to diversify the economy. Now, Boko Haram, it's not that there's a real resurgence. The last kicks of a dying lion. But knowing the General Buhari, it's because he's a general and who has a very good track record in containing insurrection, whether you're talking of Maitasini or you're talking of any other threat to Nigeria, I'm sure uh, he will really very soon render Boko Haram in the past tense. As regards the uh, roadmap to resuscitate the economy, all the pointers from experts are to the fact that we are emerging gradually out of uh, recession. So the work is still a work in progress, but there seems to be some light at the end of the tunnel. Corruption, I have criticized the government for not having a strategy that what we've seen uh, is more of atmospherics. And the, that has not been helped by the redeployment of the ex executive secretary of the presidential advisory committee against corruption, uh, Bolaji Owasonye, uh, to chair uh, the ICPC. <laughs> now that's promotion in a sense, but that leaves a vacuum uh, with uh, Ishe Sage. So definitely something has to be brought along in the fight against corruption. Right. Prof, uh, let me ask you this, and this is one of the questions that is being thrown up uh, on Twitter by one of our viewers, uh, is at Dom Dynasty. He says, what if uh, Buhari, President Buhari announces his resignation at the 7 a.m. national address? No, I don't expect that will happen. It will dampen the enthusiasm of uh, the people who are still so excited who are still felicitating with him, uh, if he's going to resign, uh, that will be much later. Maybe he will now tell us that 
uh, he's not fully recovered and that maybe he needs to go and take care of his health. But from what I saw on telly yesterday evening, uh, the, the, the president seems to be back in shape and it will be an anti-climax if he should just come back to resign. No, that, that, that would be, uh, it would dampen uh, the enthusiasm of the generality of Nigeria. But do you think he may want to run in 2019? Well, that's speculative. Uh, the APC has a lot of problems because the party still has to gel together. And then we don't know who the competition will be in case Buhari intends to run. Uh, maybe Atiku, who has been making interesting noises about uh, restructuring and what have you. The Atiku is a politician. There are other politicians in the APC. Mm. Right. But, so that is an event that General Buhari does not run. If he wants to run, I think like uh, Governor Okorocha said, he has the first option. To, um, you can't deprive him of that right. All right.